G'day and welcome to Dave's Model Workshop. Now after the big effort I put in on my miniatures and getting an exhibition together, I thought I needed something low stress. And this is my low stress build. So this was given to me by a good mate of mine called Greg. And Greg is a legend. And Greg said to me, I want to see what you can make out of this. You know, give me something intriguing. And it's just so old school. Let's get some focus. It's just so old school. I think this is like circa 1988 or something. Um, yeah, the model itself is nowhere near as detailed as this studio model. It's it's such false advertising. Oh, <laughs> uh, there we go. 1990. There we go. So yeah, it's an ancient, ancient kit. And here are some parts of it. And here's most of it. So it looks pretty uninteresting so far, I'll grant you that. Um, you can see I've done a little tiny bit of chipping on it so far. Um, basically using the hairspray technique to get a really nice silver undercoat that will come through. And those are just peeled off with a bit of masking tape. And yeah, but I will show you my cunning plan for how to make this interesting. So one of the cool things I've done is painted this really interesting rust texture onto some of the back end, the sort of engine end of things. I think that, yeah, gives it a certain something interesting. But I've also added a whole lot of detail to the guns. So the guns were a little bit plain to begin with. So I've just added a whole lot of bits and pieces to that with sort of styrene strip and some little brass barrels. Not sure if you can see that, but yeah, um, added some just bits and pieces around that end, that sort of circular piece, added some little strips of styrene to that, just to make them more interesting because beforehand they were a bit plain. So I'm gonna keep on building. Here's the start of my torturous, torturous masking job. Circle on the top, circle on the bottom. What can it be? Well, here is my ridiculous masking job. <laughs> it's pretty complicated for something that I just wanted to do really fast and really easy. Do you get where I'm coming from now? Yeah, it's going to be sort of a Japanese rising sun motif, which should be fun. Some of them might be a bit better than others. <laughs> but again, this is not for a competition. This is not for anything special. This is just for fun. All right, airbrush time. Let's see how much overspray I do. Okay, the painting is done. Well, the first layer of painting is done. Let's see how badly it's bled under my crappy, crappy masking tape. It's not too bad so far because there's so many complex curves like you know, around the back here. Very hard to mask. There's a little bit just there but overall not too bad. I'm gonna peel some more off and just see how bad the drama is, how bad the damage is. Not too bad, not too bad. Overspray in a couple little spots overspray, you know, bleeding, whatever you want to call it, but not too bad. And uh, I'm thinking that I can cunningly, oh, there's one really bad spot just here and there, but I'm thinking I can cunningly disguise those with battle damage. <laughs> what a cheat. What a cheaty solution. I love it. <laughs> here we go, after some painting and weathering. It's pretty beaten up. I like it. <laughs> it's... The weathering has helped a lot with some of the iffiness of some of the stripes. So now it's just time to peel off the masking from the cockpit and reveal it in all its glory. Well, here is the finished result. And a really big learning for me was the cockpit because I completely balls it up. So when I was masking the cockpit, I held it on my finger, I put the cockpit over the top of my finger to put the masking tape on. And did I remember to wipe out my fingerprints from the inside? No. I stuck it on there with big, greasy fingerprints on the inside. I also, when I took the masking tape off, saw the fingerprints, thought, uh, look, the masking tape left a bit of gum on the outside. I thought, I'll just clean it off with a little bit of mineral turpentine. Because I had it right there, put it on a cotton swab, and you can see the clouding that resulted. It's really bad. It's really, really bad.
You can also see the little tiny crack on the cockpit glass as well on the canopy. So yeah, <laughs> three out of three screw ups on the cockpit. And the worst thing was that that was the very last thing I did was peel that tape off. So yeah, that's an important lesson, isn't it? That's, that's proof that, you know, even us so-called experts on YouTube can still do rookie basic mistakes. <laughs> really, that's like, that's like modeling 101. But anyway, this is the rest of the, the aircraft. Ooh, very wobbly on its little stand. And, you know, for something that I did in basically one weekend, it's pretty good. I'm pretty happy. It was fun, and that's exactly what I needed. Um, you know, I really wanted something that was just going to be an easy build and a fun build and a low pressure build. And apart from screwing up the canopy, I'm pretty happy with it. It was fun. So thank you to my mate Greg for giving this to me because, yes, it's exactly what I needed after all the stress of trying to get an exhibition together. It was really full on, and this was just fun and dumb. Um, the decals were just raided from my stash of decals. And again, if I was being like really hardcore serious about it, the five here, it's on top of chipped paint. The five should have been chipped as well. But am I losing sleep over that? No, I'm not losing sleep over that. Some of the masking is a bit iffy, a bit how's your father? You'll, you'll see the worst of it here in a second. It's a bit of overspray on the engine there. But again, it was fun. It was meant to be fun, and it was fun. Just don't look too closely at that canopy. <laughs> ah, look at it wobbling there. <laughs> um, what's the underside like? I'll show you the underside. There's the underside. It was a lot of fun doing all that wear, all that paint chipping. That's always, you know, an enjoyable part of the process. So that's it. That's my Star Wars A-Wing fighter. Lots of fun to make. And screwed up. And you know what? I don't care. Because sometimes modeling is just meant to be fun. Alright guys, I hope this has been of interest. And uh, I'll check you next time on Dave's Model Workshop. Thanks for watching. Bye.